just wanted to quickly go over my ikea haul um i am trying not to move the camera too much and i don't want to make any of you seasick so i'll try and do it quickly but um I also want to just show you how I pretty much stayed in budget. Well, I did stay in budget. So, as you know, I had £250 and I was absolutely a super duper geek. And before I went, I picked all the things that I wanted, um, where they were going to be located in the shop, because places like Ikea can actually make me feel slightly overwhelmed. So, um, I wanted to make sure I knew exactly what I was getting, whereabouts it was, so I didn't forget, because going back when the arrows are the wrong way... And people are crashing into me is a little bit too much so that's what i did um, and pretty much got what i wanted these shelf things weren't actually in stock them i'm gonna butcher all these names so i'm gonna just not attempt but this is a new one vatten car i think it was and what it is is like a shelving unit that connects to the side of your um table um, but it's brand new and pretty much already gone so it's back in stock at the beginning of March so I'm going to go back and grab one of those my daughter needed a few things for her room so this is going to be unbudgeted to spend but I did have a little bit extra from my bookkeeping come in so it pretty much going to get covered by that so she needed um, a chair which I actually got a cheaper one in the end I didn't get that one a mirror um, and then I needed some boxes because um, we are trying to organize our loft but they didn't have the ones I wanted I didn't want to spend too too much so yeah, so these are little things. Oh, and I needed to get a little something for my market to try and help my displays. But I'll show you that in a minute. So, yeah, so this was my list. This is my receipt. Um, so I came in at the craft room, £250. I came in at £224, but I still need to get that shelf thing, which is about £15. Um, the home stuff, which is for my daughter's room, is £45. And then the craft things i need for the market six pound eighty so i pretty much stayed in budget uh, and i got tons and tons of stuff so let me show you what i got right so the first thing i got is oh my god how cute is this i don't even know what it's called i've actually got water in it already been using it um it is long way around I'm trying to do this one hand's gonna be fun so does it have a name no but it is just water is just like a water mister and i got this because one it's aesthetically looking beautiful but also i bought these little like trough things with they've got little feet and i'm going to do myself a little herb garden in front of one of my windows on the other side but oh my gosh over there is a mess won't be showing you until it's done um and then um what i'll have is like three in each so i'll be like basil parsley and all of that. Um, I just need to double check which ones can go together in each one before I kill them. So that's the plan for those. Um, so they were £10 each. And then this was £4. It's got that. I got another one of these. I say another because where my sewing machine is, I've got two of these because it holds all of my little bits. So one of these Scadis. <laughs> Uh, pegboard like i said i'm gonna butcher all of these names but i got one of those and then i got this um to help me start putting orders and stuff if it's etsy orders or um orders for my bags in and it's easy for me to just grab so that's those now this obviously i i have a conservatory i'm literally surrounded by windows all day which i do like but it now means that I don't have very much space. So this also connects to my table with connectors, which I bought. Oh, here they are. So these are the connectors. So these, I think they're just called Scadis connectors. And what they do is, yeah, they attach to the table, then onto this. So then it gives me like a makeshift wall. So that was the plan for that. Um, I also struggle with light at night time. It's outside in our garden, it's pitch black. Um, and that's why um, when I do my evening videos, even though I've got a light, like a strip light and a ring light, it's still not as bright as I'd like. But um, I've got some LED strips. My partner's going to put these all across the window, um, like on the window plastic bit. Um, so then I can just get some extra light. So I've got three packs of those. 
as well. So they are to help with my lighting issue. I then got something that was a little bit pretty. <laughs> it's got nothing at all to do with um, the crafting, just that it looks nice. Um, sometimes I struggle with being a little bit overwhelmed. So I thought that this, I think it's about three minutes. Um, if I feel like that, I can just turn it on and give myself three minutes to just breathe. Um, it does look really pretty, but, and I love the sound of a sand hourglass. Um, so yeah, so I've got that. So I'll leave that so it doesn't keep going. So I've got that to look nice. Um, I have also bought these and they are called Soccer Bit. Soccer Bit, I think it is. So three of these, they're good size to put in my, um, my envelopes for when I'm making my binders. I thought I can put them in there, thank you cards and stuff and make it really neat and tidy because that's I'm starting to do massive prep, um, like when I turn the laminate on, just do hundreds of them and I can fill it up. So that is what they are for. I have now also bought a hook. Uh, this is more for the other side of my craft room um, because I've got loads of single hooks for things um, and they take up a lot of space and you don't get as many. So I thought I'm going to give these a go so I can hook more things up at once. Um, and they were only two pound and so this is the scadis again um it's just a hook multiple hook i think it's called or something like that um, and that was only two pound as well then with these it's got like matching bigger ones like this um oh more hooks these are for my threads for my sewing machine so i can see them all at once to go on my other pegboard um yeah so these are part of this and they have they've actually got three lids as well now in here i make um reusable snack bags so i need to be getting ready for the market they're kind of scattered around my house so i wanted this to be just filled with snack bags put the lid on because i'm in a conservatory i don't want the sunlight to um drain the colors of it bleach the colors of it sorry um, I also got so these plants, these flowers are from Christmas. I had them on my Christmas tree. Um, I weren't too keen with them on my Christmas tree because my Christmas tree was so big. I think they need to be a lot bigger. So I'm going to repurpose these. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. But what I did buy was these like ivy, pretend ivy garlands. So I've got one, two, three of those. Then I bought some, I bought a bunch of these fake flowers, artificial flowers, so fake sounds so awful, um, artificial flowers. What I'll be doing is cutting some of these heads off um, and they're going to be intertwined with the garland um, to go off a bookcase that I'm making so that my side is just full of flowers. I love the thought of a flower wall, but they're so expensive to buy. So I'm going to attempt made one. Um, and then I have got these lights, which I bought years ago, and they were in my daughter's room, she weren't using them. So I'm going to then be putting these lights around my flower wall. So they were already bought, so I already had those. So that's those. Then I bought, sorry, using my, my market table for extra space today while I start building all this. So we've now got the Lennart, like, drawers. Let's see if you can this oh it's got this open anyway they just kind of look like that my desk is quite large and it's got a corner where uh, it's a bit of dead space so I was hoping I can put this in there and then start um, sorting out all of my extra zips and stuff that I have for my bags because that can get a little bit excessive and everywhere and um, I think this would be a good way to organize them then I've got the lids to those boxes and then I've got this so this is the Chaosig. Um, it's a foldable box. Um, it's quite big actually. It was bigger than I thought. So I wasn't gonna buy two, but I just bought one in the end because it was way bigger than I was expecting. It's quite sturdy as well. So I like these because when I've got um, which I'm gonna be doing this week, when I cut a ton of bags for the market or a ton of bags to be restocked on my website, um, they're really hard to try and like put them all in order so what I want to do is be able to stack them in here and then the top is what I sew and then I'll sew down in levels and then when I'm not got things to sew I can fold it away so that's what that's for then I have 
these two. Um, so these are the bit that was business for £6.80. So there's actually a shoe rack um, that come out like that. And it folds nice and flat. And so I want to be able to use these on the market on my table, which is like this, but I cover it with a white cloth. Um, just to give me some definition, or is that what it's called? A step to put my um, bags in. Um, so yeah, so I've got those that I also bought, which was like I said, the business one. Um, and then I have this bookcase, which is called, so this bookcase, which is called the Genexel, which is gonna go next to my table. And then, and then the last other thing I got, which is this like paper drawer thing. So I can put all my laminate and all my different papers in there and then I can label it. So everything is neat and tidy and i think that is everything so that's everything that i bought and that's how i organized um how i did my shopping trip to keep on track um and yeah and that's how i made because i i couldn't be bothered to separate because it was quite busy and there was a woman behind me who was not pleased with being in the queue for so long so I really wanted to make it quicker for her as well so I just put it all in together and then came home and highlighted it like this um the only other thing I noticed was we always get meatballs when we go there and I might be acting silly but have they always been nearly seven pound for a bag of meatballs like that's stupidly expensive um I didn't look at the price but wow I do love them, but £7? Anyway, so that's everything. That's my little Ikea haul on what I bought with my £250. Savings challenge. Now it's time to build stuff, organise stuff, and neaten up this room. So, um, yeah, so I'll definitely show you when I have done these little herb tro um, troughs. Um, they're going to be so pretty, um, and I'll get to smell them all day while i'm working which i thought was nice i was going to do some flowers but i think because of the depth of them and they don't have holes and stuff i'm gonna struggle keeping the flowers alive so i'm gonna give it a go i'm not very good with plants i won't lie so anyway that is everything thank you for watching and um my stuffing will be coming up really soon see you later mm -hmm.